Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ash. Happy, hopefully I'm getting this video up on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Today I am building a dupe of the new or newish, I guess, um, Beauty Bay Reckless Romance palette. This is one of their 20 pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, I was buying these like obsessively for a little bit. Um, until I went on my no buy a couple years ago and broke that cycle um, and they still catch my eye I think I still have a bit of a collecting mentality about these even though I haven't actually collected them in a while there's been a few that I've missed um, but still every time one gets announced I feel this compulsion to buy it and this one is interesting to me because part of me hates it <laughs> And another part of me really likes it. And I can't seem to quite figure out which side of me is more accurate. The, you know, the loving or hating part of it. So I figure the only way to get a better look at this palette is to sit down and build a dupe of it. And to just really analyze the colors and figure out what it is that's doing it for me and what is not doing it for me. So... Let's get right to it. The first shade is pretty boring, actually. Um, it's called Number One, and uh, it is described as a light beige matte. Also, I'm getting the swatch photos and the palette photo and the descriptions of the colors from Trend Mood's Instagram. It's the only place I found all of the things that I need for this, so uh, I'm just using the information they've provided. Um, but so Number One... In the palette, it looks pretty yellow undertone, at least in the, the pan. Um, they don't really have a swatch of this shade, but um, I don't think it matters. It's just like a light base shade. I'm just gonna use Porcelain from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse palette, because I have it. I don't know. And the rest of the shadows are so pink or like purple leaning. I don't know why this beige is so yellow looking, but whatever. Um, then let's dive into some pinks, pinkish, mauve shades. So first we have Rebel, which is described as a mid-tone raspberry matte. I feel like this is a good contender. This is Rouge from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse palette. I feel like that is a mid-tone raspberry pink, if I've ever seen one. So I think that will be the next shade I go with. Okay, then we have VIP, which is described as a deep gold shimmer. It looks very orange gold. And honestly, I feel like Super Stardust from ColourPop's um, She's Got Solstice palette would be interesting. It looks like the same kind of tone. But mine's more interesting because it's got a lot of texture. Super Stardust is a very textured eyeshadow. Um, but that's part of its charm, I think. And then... Let's see, Fling is described as a cool toned purple matte. And let's see, cool toned purple matte. I can't tell if the shadow in the swatch photo is Fling or the purpley mauve shade from the next row which I think is called soulmate I can't tell I think I th I'm gonna guess that's soulmate in the swatch photo so hmm. going by the pan photo it kind of looks like this and this is a cool toned matte purple Um, the one in the photo looks a little bit warmer, so maybe something more like this. Or is that too grayish? You 
You know, I like, where's my depotting tool? Just had it, there we go. You know, I like this shade, this is Ego from Sugar Pill. It's one of their singles. I think this would be a good addition to this palette. Okay, and then for this row, to finish this row, we have Love Son, which is a deep brown matte. Okay, now there's two like dark brown mattes in this palette, it looks like. There's this one, and then I think it's called Paparazzi, which is described as a warm toned deep brown matte. Okay, so is this one cooler toned then? Hmm. So there is like a matte kind of uh, like burgundy in this palette. Um, so I want to avoid using a burgundy. Maybe like one of these more brownish reds up here. Because the red, which is in the next row, looks like it is called Affair. Affair is just described as a deep red matte, but if it is in the swatch photo, it looks kind of like, um, has almost a raspberry quality to it, so it's got some pink. Um, yeah, I like this middle shade. What is that? I like you. What are you? Ooh, this is All Star from ABH's Subculture Palette. This is a good eyeshadow. I'll put it in here for now. I might change it out here in a bit, but we'll just, we'll pop it in for now. Okay. Moving on to the second row. This is a, uh, this is the shade Soulmate, and it's described as a cool toned mauve matte. Like, I'm trying to think, I feel like I have something very similar to this, but I'm not seeing it. See, this is Big Magic from ColourPop's Tinkerbell palette. No, that's not it. Um, what am I thinking of? That's too purple. Tell you what that is, though. That is Silver Lining from ColourPop, one of their singles. Is it this? I think that's it. What are you? Attic from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse palette. I think that might be a little grayer and a little more purple than Soulmate is intended to be, but screw it. It's fine. We'll go with it. And then we have Girlfriend, which is called, or which is described as a frosted light pink shimmer. So frosted light pink shimmer. Um, if that's what's in the swatch photo, it doesn't look super pink. It looks like a ballet slipper pink almost. Let's see, this is Coco Crush from ColourPop's Going Coconuts palette. Ooh, that looks pretty spot on actually. I think that would be pretty perfect. Let's do it. Okay, and then we've come back to the reds. This is a fair, that deep red matte. Um, OK, 
Okay, I think that's going to be too bright. Something more like that. I think either of those would be pretty, although I do feel like this is a little bit more toned down. I feel like this is more of the thing that a fair is trying to be than this. This just feels a little too pink. I'll tell you what they all are though. So this one is Vexed from Blend Bunny's Blends Palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous matte red. The one that I'm not going with is called Mullet Over from ColourPop's Wine and Only Palette. Another really gorgeous red, very, very soft, very pigmented. But I think, yeah, I figured. I think I'm going with Red Giant from Kaleidos' Club Nebula Palette. I think it's just, it feels right. Okay, and then we have After Party which is just a pink shimmer. That's that's all it says, is it's a pink shimmer. Okay, looks very cool toned, kind of mauve-y. Um, so let's see what I've got. Oh my god, I've got a whole lot. Um, this might be good. This is Last Call from Urban Decay. I feel like based on the pan photo, because there's no swatch of this, um, the pan photo looks more purple and this looks more pink swatched out. However, in the pan, I feel like Last Call looks very similar to After Party. So I feel I don't know, going by that logic, maybe they would swatch out or apply similarly. Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna go with Last Call. And then for the last shade in this row, we have Front Row, which is described as a dark purple matte. Um, and it looks, it looks very much like this shade. I can read the label. This is No Egrets from ColourPop's Lovebird palette. I feel like that's almost identical to how um, front row looks in the picture. And I want to try it in here. And I also want to look at the palette so far. So the next row has a lot of gray tones in it. Um, and I'm just, I'm trying to get a feel for how, like what exactly it is that I dislike and what I like about this palette. Um, Cause I feel like a lot, I like a lot of these things individually, but together they feel a little bit off. I can't really explain it any better than that. It just feels weird seeing all these things together. Like they kind of work together, but they it just feels like they shouldn't be together, if that makes any sense. But anyway, we're gonna continue. Um, on to the third row. This is Encore, which is a cool toned mauve shimmer. Actually, let me clean off my hand first. So Encore, cool toned mauve shimmer. Okay. Now we already have last call. which also, you know, kind of mauve -y. This one looks, it honestly, it looks like the metallic version of, um, I forget what shade this is duping. Um, it looks like the metallic version of this. So maybe I just look for something that's in that vein. I'm just swatching these two to keep them in mind. Um, so maybe I want something this kind of color, but metallic. I think that's what I want to do. I feel like I'm going to have 
my best chances looking in here. Let's see. This is Wild and Free from Dose of Colors. I really like this shade. It's a very good one. I feel like it would work in this palette pretty well. And honestly, I feel like it would fit in for Encore as well. Like, you know, I think it would work as like, um, maybe not an exact dupe of the shade, but it's similar enough, I think. Although it looks, Wild and Free looks a little darker than, um, what are you? Attic, at least in the pans. I feel like once applied, um, Wild and Free comes off lighter and a little bit more sheer. So I think it works. I think it balances out. Um, okay, and then we're getting into some of those grays. We have Tattoo, which is described as a dark gray matte. This almost looks black. It looks very dark in this photo. Um, but a dark gray. I do have dark grays. Got Combat Boots from Blend Bunny Sugar and Grunge. And Gloom and Doom from Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet. So I didn't realize so I was so far off to the side. I think I like combat boots better. The grays and the Reckless Romance palette seem to have kind of like a greenish quality to them almost. So I feel like Combat Boots has a little bit more of that greenish vibe going. So I'll put that in here. And then we have Mini Dress, which is just a silver, um, is how it's described. Let's see. Um, what are you? This is Ego from Auric. This has like a little bit of a golden um, shimmer in it, like a little bit of golden glitter. So it gives it kind of a green vibe, I think. It at least makes it a little warmer, a little bit more interesting than just like a regular cool tone silver. I think that could be interesting in here. We'll try it. The um, mini dress in the palette looks maybe a little more purpley, a little more leaning towards that regular cool tone silver, but I'm going to try Ego in here and just see how I feel about it. And then backstage is described as a cool toned light gray matte. And again, I can't, so the grays in the swatch photo, at least I'm assuming they're the grays, they look really different from how they look in the palette photo. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Um, so I'm just gonna go based on the uh, photo of the palette to pick out my grays, I think. Um, and so backstage, so we've already got that darker gray. What about these two? Ooh, I like that first one. Um, I'll, of course, tell you what they both are. Okay, so this one that I think I'm going to go with is Bebe from ColourPop's Baroque palette. And then this one is Robotic from Blend Bunny's Machina palette. Hi. Are you oh. this? Oh, hi. <laughs> My son suddenly barged in here and interrupted me. I don't know what I was saying, but... um. Yeah, the one I'm gonna go with is Bebe from ColourPop's Baroque palette. Um, where were we? Okay, so we did backstage fishnets. Oh, oh good. It's a sequin shade. God, how I love sequin shades. I don't, I hate them. <laughs> 
Okay, fishnets is described as a black multi-flex shimmer. Okay, okay, you know what? To be fair, it doesn't say sequin, it says shimmer. So it like, in the palette photo, it looks like a matte black with lots of like silver glitter. But I will say in the swatch photo, it looks like a metallic. So, okay, I take back what I was saying. I take it back. Um, and actually, I might use granite. This is from the Urban Decay Moondust palette. I don't think this is as dark as um, fishnets, but it has a lot of that silver glitter that is through fishnets. Fishnets looks like it's got a lot, it's like jam packed with silver glitter. So I think granite would be a good choice for that shade. All right, and we're on to the last row. So we are starting off with Paparazzi, which is described as a warm toned deep brown matte. And actually I think um, I might wanna go with this shade. This is Ready from Blend Bunny's All Done Up palette. But I do wanna swatch that next to the reddish brown that I already picked. Okay, they're not too similar. They're definitely similar, but I think there is a noticeable amount of depth between the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Ready. And then Muse is described as a deep pink shimmer. don't know. Oh, actually, this is Don't Speak from Blend Bunny's Sugar and Grunge palette. Let's see, would that be too similar to Last Call? I don't think so. I think Last Call is definitely more mauve more purple. Yeah, yeah, I think I could justify having both of them. And at this point, like, there's not gonna be much difference between the shades anyway, so it's fine, it's fine. Um, oh, then we have another gray, okay. This is Last Night, which is another mid-tone gray matte. Or the other one is described as a dark gray matte. Okay, this one is a mid-tone gray matte. Okay. Um, so I could do one of these. These are pretty light though. But I feel like those, one of these could work. They also kind of look like, I assume this is the gray in the swatch photo, the one that I'm duping right now last night. Um, okay, so first we have Vision from Blend Bunny all done up right here which is pretty, but I think I prefer this one, which is Bougie from ColourPop's um, Baroque palette. Yeah, it's just, I feel like it's got a little bit more pigment. It's standing on its own a little bit better. I'm just gonna go with um, Bougie. Okay, then last two shades, and actually I'll just go ahead and get the very last shade real quick because it's just a black matte. Um, doesn't really matter what I pick. I have a number of black matte eyeshadows. Um, I'm just gonna go with Nevermore from Blend Bunny's Blends Palette. Good solid black eyeshadow. And then lastly, we have Rockstar, which is a purple shimmer, is how it's described. Um, and I don't know what to do for this one, but maybe I'll use this. This is Magnetic, I believe. Yeah, Magnetic from Urban Decay's Moondust palette. I, I just don't have a lot of variation in these kinds of purpley pinks, and also they kind of like this, this shade, Muse, and what were you called? After Party all kind of look 
very similar in the palette photo. At the very least, Magnetic has a little bit of blue shimmer and glitter through it as well. It's got a little bit of a shifty quality because of that. Um, so I think Magnetic will at least add something a little bit interesting, even if they all kind of look the same. All right, let me clean up my hand. We'll swatch the whole thing together and that will be that. Okay, so here is the finished palette. I still don't quite know how to feel about it, but here are the swatches. I was really struggling to get these all on my hand. So forgive how scrunched up the last couple rows look. Like, I think it's interesting. At the very least, it's interesting. And like, I, I don't know, part of me, I think, likes it because I like pink and gray together as a, you know, color story. I think pink and gray is interesting and it's contrasty, but it's also complementary. I think green and pink together, sorry, not green and pink, gray and pink together are great. Um, it's just, it's not quite what I envision when I think of gray and pink together because there's so much purple as well thrown in with the pink and then there's like this orangey gold up here and a couple brown shades and some red and like I don't know it's it is pretty I just don't quite know how to feel about it um I feel like this is a palette that I would actually have to use to understand it um so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use it I'm gonna try to understand it better um I you know like I get it a little bit I think it's interesting like I said um and I don't know I think the fact everything's kind of subdued and you know the pinks are kind of this mauvey tone all throughout like all of them have this kind of subdued mauvey feeling to them and even the grays have this you know they're not super blue toned grays they're kind of gray uh, green leaning I can't talk they're kind of green leaning so they're a little bit off as well like it all fits in a weird way it's just different it's unique you know I, I feel like this is actually kind of a unique palette um, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious to use this and I'm very curious to see how I feel about it once I'm done using it. But that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you like how the palette came out. Um, let me know. Have you tried the Reckless Romance palette and do you like it or do you not like it? Did I get pretty close? Let me know. I'm curious. Um, but anyway, yeah, thank you again for watching, and I will see you when I see you. Bye!